also I've camped in this spot or this area quite a few times so if you've seen I guess the majority of my welcome videos you'll probably recognize this place but I guess I'm mainly welcome just to kind of get out and, and enjoy nature so I've kind of gone a different route so maybe I can find somewhere a bit different to well camp tonight. One of the fun things about tonight and the, one of the different things is that I've actually brought a stove so I'm planning to make um, fried eggs on toast this evening. But I am quite hungry, it is. Just gone ten past six so I'm going to keep wandering and then find somewhere to pitch my tent and have some eggs on toast. That's one way to get down. This is a really old woodland and it's not disturbed at all really. I know it's old because of the ferns that are here and because the moss has been growing here a long time. It kind of feels like I'm in Jurassic Park. Hopefully not obviously but My kind of bread, got some butter, and my eggs survived the journey here. I'm going to try out this stove. Hopefully, it all works fine because it just feels like there's quite a lot of gas in there. But someone did leave it behind, so maybe it's defunct in some other way. But I guess we'll find out. One of the good things about this stove is that it's self-lighting. It's got an ignition switch which is good because as you've probably seen some of my other camping videos I normally forget something so This probably feels a bit novel because I don't normally take a stove. Simple things, I guess. Ah, I don't know. Oh well. 
and it still tastes good. So I probably, if my tent looks like it's on a slant, it's because it is on a slant, but I'm sure I'll sleep fine. I slept on wonkier places. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to put the outer on my tent because it's not meant to rain and it, I'll have a nice view of all this kind of foliage in the morning so I'm probably going to leave it off. Ja! So, say that worked quite well. worked really well. Quite impressed with this. So I think I got this online. Um, I think it was maybe 15, 20 pounds. So that's really good. And the gas, someone left us behind at work. Which feels like there's more than half in there. So that's great. So I'm going to have a cup of tea later and in the morning. But I'm going to have another egg bath. I'm going to have to invest in a mini camping spatula which would be good for fried eggs but also for pancakes. So yeah, I was very impressed with this little gas stove. This has worked out quite well because it was about time that I upgraded my previous gas stove. Because that was kind of, you just clicked it on. But that one has passed its best. But this one, it definitely feels more secure having the kind of threaded twist on top. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what brand this is. Yeah, I think it's just some bog standard design but no it did the job perfectly so much so I think I might have a cup of tea to warm up in a bit and I'm going to put my thermal bottoms on and see how quickly it boils a cup of tea and yeah I don't have any plans tonight as you probably know from my previous wild camping videos that just very simple I obviously have my regular book tonight I'm reading The Gunslinger by Stephen King it's not a book I'd normally read, but I'd heard good things about the Dark Tower series, so I'm making my way through the first one. So that's what I'm reading tonight. I think I've got another two hours of daylight, so plenty of reading time. And then my journal, and then probably early bed. And then sleep through, hopefully, and then head home in the morning. I might go by the allotment and get my plants of water, because it actually haven't, it has not rained. It hasn't rained for a long time now. I think the last time I saw it rain was before I hiked the South Downs Way, which was just over two weeks ago now. If not longer, so three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. Wow. So yeah, I'm probably definitely going to go by the allotment and water the plants. And now I'm just rambling.
Okay, that's a bit more civilised. It's got legs. <laughs> so let's see how quick. water. So it's about 20 past 8 at night. I think I've still got another hour and a half until the sun officially sets. But I guess under here it is quite overcast with all the trees and it's cloudy. It is meant to clear so we'll see what the morning brings. But yeah, I don't have a signal down here. So I have to go up there to get a signal. So that took just under five minutes. I probably should have had it on a higher setting, but yeah, not bad really. It's a lot quicker than my old one, so that's great. <laughs> Cheers. And I've just come to get some, something from my bag and I've noticed not one but two ticks on my t and these are quite big ones thankfully I've got like long sleeves and um, long sleeves on but I'm definitely going to be checking myself when I have a shower in the morning And now I feel all itchy after finding those ticks on my tent, which is annoying. But I am glad that I've brought my tent now. I was debating just busy bagging it, but I only really like to do that out in the open. If I'm in a forest, I'd, like, I'd like to have my tent. And especially as it's going to be cloudy, so you're not going to be, any, you'll see any stars tonight. <sighs> I think I can hear a nest of baby squirrels up there. I've seen squirrels running to and fro of the trees around there. But I can definitely hear something in the trees. Well, I guess I'm probably going to go to sleep now, or very shortly. Oh, keep this door closed. But I guess I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Pigeons are so noisy. <laughs> Just one of the noisiest birds ever.
Well, good morning from my little campsite here. It is about 10 to 8, which is quite late, considering the sun, the sun's been up for, I guess, well, four hours now. I just spent the last hour or so listening to, I guess, the sounds of the forest. There's a pair of bullfinches that keep flying around. And there's also some, I think, blue tits. I think I was quite snuggled down in my sleeping bag, so I didn't really want to move. But the fact that it's a lovely sunny morning, so that helped. And so yes, it's been a nice, cosy, relaxed way to wake up, really. It was a bit chilly. Not super cold, but considering it's early June, you'd kind of expect it to be a bit warmer. I didn't bring a breakfast. So I'm probably just going to pack down and make my way out of this valley and then just go home via my allotment, water the plants and then have a shower and show myself for ticks. One thing I will do before I go is I want to swing on the ivy vine again. So I've been doing that before I go. But it's rating this little campsite. So it has been a really lovely simple wild camp which is what I kind of aim for. Hmm. So, the pitch, considering I'm in a valley, it wasn't the easiest place to find as somewhere that's level. It was quite slanted, but not the end of the world slanted, so I'd probably factor that into consideration. Enjoyed my fried egg tea, and my, had a cup of tea, enjoyed swinging on the vine, and just, yeah, had a nice relaxing sleep. And I slept all the way through, woke up, I think about half past six and dozed and yeah, enjoyed my little wild camp adventure. So I'll probably give this an 8.5 out of 10, just because the ticks let it down, which is inevitable, but there were more here than I expected and the fact that it was hard to find some more level, but apart from that it was a fantastic wild camp. Next time I'm gonna to have to like factor in something for breakfast. I should make pancakes again. Mm.